So the other day before I went to bed, I had the most overwhelming feeling to go thrifting the next day. And then I woke up the next day and that thrifting intuition was even that much stronger. So I decided I should listen to my thrifting intuition. I should go thrifting. And especially because I had had a funky last couple days prior and I thought, you know what? Even if today is not as like fruitful, just getting out of the house, doing something I love, going thrifting, is the perfect mood booster. It was just so successful. I then proceeded to go to four more thrift stores and spend uh, several more hours thrifting, literally using up my whole day, but in the best way possible. And when I tell you that I had my most fruitful thrift trip I have ever had, there is not a single shred of a lie being told. I seriously thrifted my dream fall wardrobe, my Pinterest board. I thrifted things that I've been trying to thrift for so long. So on that note, here's the haul. How ready are we? I'm very excited. We're gonna just go by vibe because I pulled you guys on Instagram asking you how you enjoy seeing hauls the best. And right now at the top is by vibe. First up, we've got this gorgeous asymmetrical cutout Zara top that literally looks like it's never been worn. It looks like someone bought it, tried it on and was like, hey, no, donated it. And then the very next second I found it, picked it up. I dig it. Next, we're gonna talk about this top because I found this for $4.50 at one of my favorite thrift stores that I never get to go to because they have the funkiest hours ever because they're volunteer run. They're only open like three or four days a week from 11 to two. And I just can never manage to make it there between that tiny window. But I did this day and I found this incredible gem. It is a white button down with the most beautiful ornate detailing on it. The embroidery is gorgeous. Fabric is stunning, so drapey. The collar, the buttons, just everything about this is absolute perfection. Next up on the list of things that I have no idea why someone donated, these black linen Madewell pants. I cannot tell you guys how much I love these because I love linen so much. I love linen pants, love linen bottoms. And I was just thinking to myself the other day, wow, I wish I had a pair of black linen pants because then I could style darker color palettes for fall and winter. And yet again, I found exactly what I wanted. You guys, I love these. They're comfy, they look great, they cut right at the perfect length for my short legs and I really like them. I'm very excited about these. This cardigan is so dreamy. It is an autumnal, dreamy paradise piece and I know I'm being dramatic but I'm also not like, how perfect is this? I truly feel like I'm gonna run out of synonyms and things to say about these pieces because Again and again, I'm just going to iterate how much I adore and love these pieces because this is the cream of the crop. There were so many things that I would put in my cart and really, really like, but then I would do these like curating sessions every like, I don't know, 20 or 30 minutes throughout thrifting. And I kept taking things out, putting things back because though I liked them, these ones were the ones I liked the most. So this is like the cream, the cream of the crop. I also found green linen pants with the cutest little braided detail above the pockets. I love this shade of green. It's kind of like a muted olive green. And I think this is a really good example of a fall color that feels fall, but it's not inherently or overly I am fall through the red, orange, and yellows though. I do love those. Fun fact about this top, I actually saw this at two different thrift stores. The first time I really, really liked it, but I decided to pass on it because I was already buying so many things. Then I saw it at a different store later and I had been thinking about it and I was kind of sad that I didn't pick it up. So when I saw it again for the second time at that different thrift store, I took it as a sign to get it. I picked up this white sleeveless turtleneck, which I thought was perfect for fall and winter in California, because you know, we got some warmer weather sometimes, but you still wanna look fall, you still wanna look winter. This is a great way to get the look of layering, still get a cozy vibe, but then also, you know, have the arms free. It does get warmer, you can take off your outerwear and then just have the look of fall, but the feeling of LA, California, Warm. This next piece I found tucked away in kind of like a very funky little thrift store in Burbank. <laughs> and I was elated when I found it. This piece is something I have been pinning so many outfits with this piece of on 
Pinterest, oh my gosh, that was the worst sentence I've ever constructed in my life. I have pinned many an outfit with a piece like this on Pinterest. And it's just a classic brown knit sweater. I love the V-neck neckline. I love how this sits. I love how it looks. The color is gorgeous. This is something though it's very simple. It's also hard to find because it is such a popular type of piece. And um, shout out to the funky little thrift store on Burbank. On the same note, I picked up this gorgeous white mock neck sweater that has just the most beautiful drape. It's so pretty. I foresee styling this with a lot of mini skirts, some cool pants, boots. I think this is just such a gorgeous basic and I was really excited to find it. I picked up these classic fall pants, a brown micro houndstooth trouser in a petite length, which fun fact, all of the pants that I picked up found in petite. How exciting. This gorgeous blouse is so incredibly reminiscent of this Farm Rio anthropology dress shirt collab that I have been admiring for, I don't know, three or four months. I look at it every time I go to an anthropology. It's so beautiful, it's so pretty. And this top is like the perfect thrifted dupe. Same silhouette, same color palette, and same vibe. I was elated to find this and I'm so excited to style it. This navy pullover is so cute and yet another piece I love the detailing on. These stone colored chino pants that very much to me have the Jurf Avenue aesthetic. These navy chino pants that are in almost the exact same shade as that pullover that I showed you guys. And this navy colored blazer that truly has the most beautiful construction ever it is so stunning like how gorgeous is this i'm pretty sure this is vintage calvin klein this blazer truly is so gorgeous and i cannot get over how exact these two navies are you better believe i will be wearing these two as a set because they are too good of a match not to i've been wanting a black a-line mini skirt for ages and i do have a black mini skirt but it is a spandex material so it very much is like a bodycon fit uh, and it rides up a lot so i just wanted something that had that a-line silhouette and i found this one that's a little bit longer than what i would like but this is such an easy tailor i just bring it up, sew it, cut the excess, and there I have got my perfect black mini skirt. Next up is something that I do not think you are ready for because I was not ready for it. And again, we're gonna put this in the category of things I cannot believe someone donated. These Aritzia, brand spanking new, black leather pants. You guys might remember that last year, last fall and winter, these were sold out sold out across the board because they were just like everybody's top favorite. And I found these in my size. These are gorgeous. I love them. And I cannot believe I found them for $8. The thrifting intuition, never wrong. Black wide leg trousers in a drapey fabric. I do have black trousers, but none with a drapey wide leg silhouette like this. I picked up this plaid skirt that I plan to make into more of a mini skirt and then use the extra fabric to make a little cute top with, make a little set. There's not enough fabric for that. Maybe like a headband. I don't know, I feel like I could just make something cute and matching. I picked up this black floral, uh, kind of drapey mini dress. I thought this was really pretty, that I could make some cute, I don't know, like spooky kind of looks with this. There's a sweater vest that I have been admiring the heck out of from Anthropology, and I found what will be a nice little dupe in this sweater. I plan to just seam rip off the sleeves, make a cute little, uh, like imagine this as a sweater vest. How cute is this? It's very Fair Isle print inspired. And I love these little pockets at the front. I think it's fun, it makes it super unique. And now I have somewhere to store snacks. Winding down to our final few things. Next, I picked up this Lion King sheet that I cannot wait to style on my guest bed. I learned this new way of I don't know, like making the bed for when we have guests over that I learned from my mother-in-law, where you take the top sheet and you flip it upside down. So that way, when you put your comforter on top, you can roll some of that top sheet over the fold of the comforter so you can see the top sheet, which is so exciting because it's always sad to cover up the top sheet with the comforter. Now you can show like a cute little peek and how cute is this gonna be? Our guests, our family, whoever comes over, friends, people are gonna love it. I'm gonna love it. Next few pieces are probably some of the best finds I've ever found. These both I think are like 
each individually like the two most expensive things of this haul. So thing number one is this gorgeous, gorgeous brown suede coat. It is so stunning. I love the style on this. I love the silhouette. I love the cut. I love the color. I love the white cream threading detail along the coat. I love how it's constructed. It's so beautiful. It has big like 70s vibes to me. I adore it so much. I am so excited that I found this. This piece, as I mentioned, was the most expensive. It was 50 whole dollars. It was displayed in the window. And this is actually the most affordable thrift store that I went to all day. This is where I got that white beautiful blouse for $4.50. A lot of their pieces are just $5, $10, $3, $2. Like everything is very true to thrift store prices. So to find this priced at $50 makes me think that this anywhere else would have been priced so much higher. And I think this is an incredible true vintage find and I am so excited to have come across this. And then piece number two is this black leather trench coat that is also very gorgeous. I think it's just a nice staple. I think it's very Lorelai Gilmore and perfect for fall. This next piece to me is probably my most fun and cheeky purchase because it's, I don't know, it's kind of something like, it's not silly. I'll just tell you. These cream suede driving gloves. These are so gorgeous. I cannot wait to style them. They're so beautiful. And I think it's just going to be the most fun to try styling these. And I, th I just think they're really cool. Penultimate item is this Scooby-Doo record that I think is so, so cool. Like how vintage, like the art style and just what a neat find. I found this for $4. I think this is just gonna look so cool as part of my downstairs home decor, especially with like my current fall and Halloween decor. If you guys have not seen that vlog, it is, the video prior to this one, but I watched Scooby Doo while I was doing some fall decorating and I think this is just cute. And the final thing that I picked up is something that I am so excited about because I was pretty sure that this would fit my water bottle and today I tested it out. It fits my 32 ounce hydro flask and I was so excited because you know how sometimes you want to bring your water bottle somewhere but you either have to just carry it or you have to bring like a whole big purse but sometimes you want to be low-key you can fit your phone in your pocket or you can have your significant other hold your phone whatever but sometimes you want the big water bottle too but now I have a purse just for that water bottle or I could also just put my phone and my wallet in here it's just like the perfect little itsy bitsy bag and it's so cute it is a black crochet and I was just so excited about it and that is officially the end of the haul wasn't that just such a good haul I seriously am still not over all of these pieces and I really cannot believe how much my thrifting intuition led me. If your thrifting intuition ever kicks in and is like, go thrifting today or go to the store, tune in and listen. But I wanna know what is your favorite piece from today's haul? I don't know if I can pick. I have so many that I loved. You know, I'm not gonna pick everything. The whole haul, the experience is my favorite. And I had such a great time thrifting that day, but also sharing it with you guys. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. If you guys did not catch my last video, I did a fall home decor vlog that I decorated for fall and it was like a fun time and I really like how that video turned out. If you guys want some fall and Halloween home decor inspiration or just want something fall autumnal cozy vibes to watch, I would definitely recommend checking it out. I would very much appreciate it. I'll have it linked below. And that's all I've got for today. So thank you guys so much again for watching. If you would like to come hang out with me on the day to day, you guys can find me on both TikTok and on Instagram at Jessica Neistat. Over on Instagram, on my story every day, I've been doing like a mug of the day for my coffee because I have so many uh, spooky seasonal mugs. So come find out what the mug of the day is and come hang out. Have an amazing day. I love and appreciate you all so very much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.